All right. Hi, everyone. Um, this is Silent Hill 2. All right. Let's get into it. No easy. Easy. Let's see. James, is that you? That must be James Sunderland. <sighs> that was a very loud moan. Not that I'm complaining. Mary, could you really be in this town? Mm, probably not. Since if I remember right, she died of, like, cancer, right? The graphics for this game are, like, surprisingly good, considering that it's, like, 2001 or something. But I am playing the Enhanced Edition, which isn't... Well In my restless games, dreams, so, you know. I see that town. Hey, I've heard that. Silent Hill. Before. It's, uh, from You that promised you'd console, take me there right? again someday. But you never did. Shame on you. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Alright, from what I've waiting seen for this you. game, I doubt that she's alone. Considering you know that but fuck this game's music is good. I got a letter. The name on the envelope said Mary. My wife's name. Is she really alive? No. Waiting for me? No. Yep. No. The controls for this game are like very confusing. to say that I've already played like half of this game. Um, so yeah, this is just a new save, so... I basically know where danger is. And I know how to deal with danger also. That's not real. Let's check out the map. So, you know... Is she actually there? I don't fucking know. Ooh. Nice save point. Like fog is like, it, it, like to a certain extent, obviously it's overdone, but it's also like, you know, it's a very good way of doing the thing that fog does. Just create an atmosphere. This atmosphere. Of life. Excuse me. I... <gasps> oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I. No, I was it's just... okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? You've got a um, map, bro. Yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But... Yes? I think you'd better stay away. What is that? This, uh... Th this town... There's something wrong with it. It's kind of hard to explain, but... Is it dangerous? Maybe. And it's not just the fog, either. Okay, it's... I got it. I'll be careful. You should have waited I'm not for lying. To save the zombies. No, I believe you. It's just, I guess I really don't care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going to town either way. But why? I'm looking for someone. Who, who, who is it? The Me dialogue too. Dialogue in this game is very. Funny. I'm looking for my mama. I, I mean, my mother. 
It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here, but I can't find them either. I'm sorry. It's not no, your problem. I, I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. Basically, uh, Silent Hill is an imaginary place. I don't think it's real. Or maybe it is real, but this... The Silent Hill that we are at is not a real place. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking the Silent Hill that we see here is a f like fictional place. Um, like a... Like a dreamscape, sort of. You know? It's just a place where people who have experienced loss go. Or maybe it's like some sort of test. Um, maybe, yeah. I could imagine that. It's like... I feel like... Everyone who's here has experienced some sort of trauma. You know? Like that woman that we just met. Like, uh... She's like... As mommy and daddy issues. Yeah, like every every monster you see here is a, a metaphor for James's unfaithfulness towards his wife. And now he, he comes here to find her again, to redeem himself in a way. But I don't think that's what's gonna happen. I know that there's multiple endings, but I don't think I don't think that's what my James is gonna do. Another example of the metaphors is like those like zombies, zombie nurses or whatever, they're like very clearly dressed in slutty nurse outfits, not actual nurse outfits. So that's also like, you know, what I'm thinking. And then there's also Maria, who is like a stripper. And you know, Maria, Mary, maybe Mary and Maria are the same person. And uh... Yeah, who knows? I don't know. I think there's a, this game is like very interesting in what it explores, you know? If I remember it correctly, um, straight ahead is like, yeah, yeah. Are these marks blood? Yes, sir. And you don't have your wood plank yet. And just follow the blood. Very good idea, James. I mean me, I guess. Since I'm the one, you know, controlling James. Or is it in this direct? I'm gonna- I'm just gonna follow the blood trail. Cause it clearly goes like in- in this direction. We go yes we can. Is this Vicodin? This house MD? No. I don't want to look at fucking James's face while I'm fucking walking into, you know, hell. Is it scared. dead? No, it's not. What the hell is it? It's not human. I mean, that's debatable. I always wonder, do the bloody footsteps actually, like, do anything? Or are they just, like, for aesthetics? Like, if your footsteps are bloody, do, like, the zombies notice? I don't know why. I'm, I know I'm calling them zombies, but they aren't zombies. Not remotely. Not in any way that they function. They're just like... Creepy and undead looking things. Fucking... Oh, nice. That's very cool. It's very nice of, uh, the city planners to fucking... Just... Let this fucking massive boat, a crater, 
do here. It's very cool. For some reason, I didn't just walk past everything. Even though that's like the best thing to do. The big no, not this way. I I really like this uh, everything in this game. Uh, the 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 town, I guess. I think it's very aesthetically pleasing. Up, oh, James, you just walked over a red light, you fucking... The cops are gonna come get you now. Neely Street. Yo, is that an Adam Neely reference? The door that wakes in the darkness. That one of these doors is the... There's... Fucking... Where is it? Here? Lock is broken, I can't open it. Oh, you fucking pussy, James. S all of these ways are fucking blocked. Where do I go? 